Well, good morning. This morning we read 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 12 to 22. Paul begins this by saying that he has always behaved sincerely. He's done his best to uh, minister faithfully the word of God, verses 12 to 14. But I find verses 15 to 17 oddly encouraging. It seems that Paul aimed to visit the uh, church in Corinth on his way to Macedonia and then on come back to them when he was coming from Macedonia. Um, and uh, But it, it appears that he didn't do this. Was I fickle when I, when I intended to do this? Or do I make my way plans in a worldly manner? Um, so it seems like he didn't do it and received some criticism for that. He had a change of plan. And now I find that oddly encouraging because obviously for this year we had many great plans. We had many ideas of what we were going to do and now we've not been able to do them. Um, so what do we say? Are we peculiar or were we, did, were we misled? Did we not hear the, what the Spirit was saying to us? I find it encouraging that Paul found that his plans, the plans he made, um, were he wasn't able to carry out. He said, even though our, our plans weren't, we weren't able to carry those out. God's promises are true. They're yes and yes. And God um, makes his promise to us and keeps his promises to us. He makes us stand firm. He's put his seal of ownership on us. In changing times, God remains constant. God is faithful. When circumstances change, when situations change, God's message is constant in a changing world. And his spirit is in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. We can't make guarantees about what is going to happen in our lives. We can't make guarantees about our plans um, or ideas that, of where we're going to be. But we have the Holy Spirit guaranteeing the ultimate end that one day will be with him for all eternity, enjoying his presence and as a token, a first fruits of his presence. He has placed the Holy Spirit in our hearts, guaranteeing that which is to come. The Lord bless you today in these changing times. God remains constant. Amen.